I've said it many times, I know I would change my ways, I know for sure When all the crows decide to meet They settle down beneath my feet I've got it right and I've got it wrong But I learned my lesson hanging on Come sit here with me by the fire And let it go for a little while So be here as the night starts falling That is not I love you. <laughs> Good official morning, you guys. I want to start off by saying I feel so weird vlogging with my hair up. I typically have my hair up like every day that I'm not vlogging or filming anything. And I don't mind having it up. I like my hair up. But with vlogging, I kind of angle my camera like this just because it feels natural and it cuts off like my hair. So I look bald. So let's just get past that. This is how this video is going to have to get done. I know you guys don't care, but... Just a little personal insecurity here, but welcome to today's vlog. This is our new normal, which I am really excited about it. As you guys saw, I went to the gym this morning. I left at about 6.10, and what I've been doing is I have been going as soon as I feed Echo. So she's been eating around six o'clock. Today it was a little early, I think it was like 5.40. Then I go to the gym, and then after that I shower and get ready for the day, and Nathaniel has her um, until I need to feed her again around nine or 8.45 or whatever time that is. Rocky doesn't wake up until eight, so he has both of them from like eight to nine. And then from there, I typically would take over, but this week we started having my sister watch Rocky. We are doing this with a friend. She's watching her son and my son, and we're switching off houses of who the kid goes to. So um, one day they will be here for three hours in the morning, and the next they'll be at her house for three hours in the morning. And it has just really been helpful trying to get work done. Now, of course, I still have Echo with me because she's a nurse. It's really hard for my sister to care for two toddlers, let alone throw in a newborn. And my friend has a newborn too. Like, it would just be too much. So she's just watching the toddlers. But this has allowed me to get so much more work done. And then I have Rocky for about an hour before he goes down for his nap. And then he naps for about two to three hours and then I hang out with him in the afternoon. And this is only gonna happen two to three days a week. It kind of depends on just like what we need that week. But so far it's been good. The first day was really chaotic and I was like, oh gosh, I don't know if this is gonna work because I was still at my house while my sister was watching the two boys. And so anything that like was happening, like I could hear and I felt the need to go help. And I really didn't get anything done that day. I was basically just like helping her watch both of them. But the next day they went to my friend's house and it was super productive. And today I'm actually going to leave my house because I think that's gonna be helpful. She also only has Rocky today because my friend doesn't need help. And I'm only doing two hours because I just need help for a little bit today. So that is kind of the plan, the new normal. I will kind of share more as the time goes by, but I need to feed Echo right now and then I need to get ready so that way when my sister gets here, I can leave the house, go uh, work at a coffee shop. So let's see where the day takes us. I'm excited to share with you guys and I'm hoping that this may be helpful to you too so that you can find a solution or just understand that it's okay to accept help. It's literally taken me 21 months to accept help and I feel guilty even sharing with you guys because it sounds like I'm not with Rocky like at all. And that hurts um, as I'm explaining it, but seriously, it's literally two to three days a week for three hours each day. It's really not a lot. And so I just need to like understand that I need to work too and I need to stop like killing myself. So anyways, justifying all this, but yes, I'm excited to share with you guys our new normal. Hi, baby. Sit down, please. Thank you. Now we gotta open it. We gotta take it out. Hold on. Take it you gotta throw that one away. Good job. Now you gotta put it in. Nathaniel always makes me breakfast when he makes Rocky breakfast, and it's really just such a simple thing that helps so much. What's wrong, Bubby? Come here. Is his coffee done? Yeah, come here. Let me see. Guess who's coming today? Daddy. Kelsey, yeah. 
Yeah, we got to get your shirt on. Where's down, your shirt? Down. Down? Daddy. You want her to be downstairs with you? Is that what you're saying? Okay, let's do it. Purple. 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 Is that your purple wawa? Did you just eat breakfast? Uh, Are you eating mama's mama. breakfast? Yeah. Because nothing's mama's, huh? It's always mama's and Rocky's. Mm -hmm. Who's here? Go get the door. Let her in. I am on my way to a Starbucks just to work um, for the next couple of hours, but I wanted to give a little bit more context um, with the whole gym situation. So we literally decided like spur of the moment to just sign up for a gym again because basically the gym solution we were gonna have wasn't going to happen until the fall and we just did not wanna wait until then to start working out and so that day we signed up and since then me and Nathaniel have been switching off going so we each go three times uh, by ourselves and then we go together once today was my day clearly to go but like yesterday Nathaniel went and in that time I'll have echo by myself until like 7 7 30 until he gets back and then he switches over and helps me so we're really trying to make it a team effort so that way we can both like benefit from it and we're going before the kids get up so that way it doesn't really like interfere with our day at all it is a little bit of a drive for us so that kind of stinks but I figured we could get used to going and if we can do that for a little bit then when the other gym that's closer opens up it will only give us more time to work out and kind of be gone and not be driving as much so I'm really excited for that uh, but yeah it's been working pretty well this is our second week or third week I think it's just our second week. Guys, I see the most fire trucks responding when Rocky is not with me and it always makes me so sad for him. I did wanna share one more thing. We are trying to do a budget of spending for the next little bit. Um, basically, long story short, we got hit with Echo's birth and like all the payments for that and then taxes. And so our savings definitely took a hit and we need to rebuild it. And so we are going to try to pull out $100 every Sunday and that be our budget for like extra spending each week. Um, so for like any activities that I do with Rocky or going out to eat or getting coffee, like that kind of thing, we're only gonna spend $100 and we're gonna have it in cash so that way we can see what we're spending and see how much money we have left and we're not just like throwing things on our credit card. So. With that being said, I made my coffee from home today, and yeah, I'm just really gonna sit in there. I'm also trying to figure out if I should leave Echo in her car seat or if I should strap her to me. I might do a little bit of both um, because she is asleep right now, but I'm only gonna be here for like an hour and a half, so it's not gonna be anything too crazy, but yeah, let's go get some work done, guys. We have been home for probably like 30, 40 minutes or so. Echo woke up. She was just kind of getting a little fussy at the coffee shop. And then also my video was taking forever to upload. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go home and let it upload on my Wi-Fi. And then I just finished up a few things. But yeah, I'm gonna go get Rocky. It's like 11.30. He doesn't need to go down for another hour or so. So we'll do lunch and whatnot, but let's go get him. <laughs> Did you have fun with Kelsey? Whoa. Rocky has been loving Kelsey. He literally asks for her as soon as he wakes up for the day. <laughs> yeah, he just loves her. Wow, girl, you're putting me to shame. You're making me look white. I want to be tan like you. Okay, I was starting to get a bit overwhelmed with kind of a lot of things going on. First of all, Echo wasn't sleeping very well and she really had only slept for like maybe an hour this morning. And so I just decided to feed her early and then she ate well on one side but she wouldn't eat on the other. And that's something that she's been doing quite a bit. I haven't really shared a lot of her struggles with nursing because honestly like, I don't know, I just feel like 
it's frustrating when it happens and at the moment I just don't feel like sharing a ton but I ended up trying to have Nathaniel give her a bottle because I felt like she needed to eat more and she did. She didn't eat the whole thing, but she definitely ate a little bit more. And then Rocky was needing us, but like we were kind of preoccupied with that and then just feeling overwhelmed. And so he started to get kind of crazy and then he needed to eat lunch. Um, the house was kind of like, there's stuff everywhere. It's really not bad, but it stresses me out totally. I also just feel like this video is kind of boring and that stresses me out. So yeah, anyways, we took care of everything. We got Rocky fed, we got Echo fed the bottle. Rocky's now down for a nap. I got my tantrum video posted. Echo is now asleep and then I just ate lunch, which was super good. Um, if you guys are local, this is like a meal prep service. So I will leave her information down below. But yeah, I'm feeling a whole lot better. I just feel like I needed a second to regroup and kind of see where things are going after i film this i'm going to check and just see how this video is going because at this moment i need some like motivation to keep going and i need to know that it's not like completely horrible but i wanted to quickly show you guys this like drink i've been making here and there it's in my stanley but in the afternoon when i feel like i need like a pick me up but i don't want anything like too crazy and i don't want to drink like a ton of calories i make this so i use like half of a sparkling ice drink in the lemon lime flavor and then we get these like little flavored waters that have like some caffeine in them and so i mix those together and then i put in a splash of heavy cream and then like a little bit of my creamer too and it just makes it a little bit creamier and it's super good so i am going to be sipping on that and just kind of regrouping i feel like i need to go do something with rocky this afternoon but it's already in the 100 degrees outside and so i have a hard time um, wanting to do anything outside like i would love to take him to a splash pad but because i have echo with me and she's not going to be getting wet it's a little stressful but on days that are not like today where i'm not like overwhelmed i really have been loving the schedule because it allows me to just like get work done and then just fully focus on Rocky afterwards. A lot of times I was having a hard time transitioning because I would be with Rocky all morning and I wouldn't be able to start work until like 12, which is really kind of just hard for me. And then I would have to start like the second he went down and it just took a lot of discipline and I was lacking in that area. So anyways, I will figure something out to do, but for now I'm just gonna kind of check on things with this video and take a second to regroup and get a little bit more motivated. I wanted to share a little haul of just some things that I have been getting. One for our beach vacation that we're going on in like a week and a half now. We're going to California, which I'm really excited about. And then the other is just to slowly start finding things that fit my postpartum body that make me feel a little bit more confident. And I guess just like excited to dress myself. And then I got a few things for Echo too that I wanted to share. But the first thing is this shirt that I'm wearing. It is from Old Navy. It's like a ribbed material and it's so cozy. And I just feel like it's flattering. Like I like where it hits like my arms. I also got this swimsuit from Old Navy. I thought the print was like super cute. I'm going with my entire family. Like my grandparents are coming and my parents and my siblings and all that kind of stuff and i just like don't feel super great yet but i also am going to be with family so i wanted just like a good one piece so i feel like that's going to be super cute and then i also got this cover up which is a dupe for the free people one and it's so cute i will show it more like when i wear it um, i'm hoping to vlog that trip and of course i'll take like photos and stuff but i wanted to buy the free people one and it was like 110 dollars and this one I think was 39. So I'm really excited about that. And then I also just got this dress from my friend's company. And it's so cute. It's a maxi dress um, that gets like kind of tight around your boobs and just is flowy throughout. So I'm really hoping that we can take some like beach pictures with that. I think that'd be really pretty. I also got myself these sunglasses. These are from Target and I'm getting a lot of inspiration from this girl named Emily. Um, and she had those and she had that free people dupe. So yeah, I'm hoping that I'll like those on me. Um, and then just a couple things for Echo. The first is this little bucket hat. I thought it was so cute from Old Navy. I think it was like $7 and it's reversible. So it's tan and it's pink, but I'm gonna try and keep her out of the sun as much. And when I went to California last time, we didn't have a hat for her. So we were using Nathaniel's hat 
and so I wanted to make sure I got her one. I also got one from H&M and it's like a floral print and is even cuter. So I'll share that once that comes in too. And then I also got her these overalls. I just think they're to die for. Rocky has a pair of overalls and I really want to get a photo of the two of them like on the beach. That'd be so freaking cute. This is the sweetest little bikini that this girl actually handmade. Little high-waisted bottoms and the little top. How cute, right? There's so many other ones that I wanna buy, but I'm having a hard time because I'm like, I need to stop like just buying in excess. As you guys saw before, we're trying to save and like we have like a spending limit, but when you see all the cute stuff, it's so hard not to buy. So trying to be conscientious of my purchases, but also just like have things that excite me and yeah, you guys get it. Um, Echo is still asleep, thank goodness. Rocky is still asleep too. So I'm just gonna kind of hang out for the next little bit until Rocky wakes up, so I'll see you guys then. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city We're gonna take soap, salt, okay? Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. Okay, ready? Can you pour it? Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Oh, let's pour from right here. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty. Leave it down, please. Now we only get one life. I wanna make it count, honey. Come on now and take my hand. Hey, hey. darling. You want some watermelon? Oh, wow. You wanna try it? It's nummy. Mm. Should we just eat it out of here? Oh. Mm. No? Try it, baby. It's nummy. Oh, no. Nummy. Too soon? Nummy. Too late? Oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> what? You don't like it? Mm -hmm. Okay. What's your favorite food? Purple. Purple, that's a color. What's your favorite food? Cheese. Yeah. <laughs> cheese? Cheese. Do you got string cheese? And you have cheesy crackers? You ate it all? Mm. Nummy? Mm. Yeah, more cheese. On the road with a couple of tunes and a cup of All good? Hey, you put it all together and make it a big pile. Really and make the cars go up, Driving down. In the middle of the night when the stars are bright. Down. Up, down. Down. Countryside is so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday. If anyone's off work, I wish I could have played the audio of that clip, but Rocky likes what's that song called? Forgot about Dre. Forgot about Dre. And he used to really like the Fireman by Lil Wayne, right? Yeah. But apparently now he's moved on and he's really loving dancing to it. But I'm gonna make some dinner. Echo is still asleep. She slept for two hours, fed, and then has been asleep for two hours. Should probably wake her up, but I'm not going to right now. She doesn't need to eat for another like 45 minutes. So yeah, um, I'm gonna make some dinner in peace while Nathaniel and Rocky play upstairs. Now we only get one love, I wanna make it count. Come on now and take my hand. Ooh. <laughs> 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 
Donna has the energy that I don't have. Yeah, where'd it go? It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> you wanna go eat? Okay. Hot. Nummy. Yeah, you blow on it. Yeah, where's mama's? Good job. Rocky's having hummus with rice. They haven't had his hummus. And so I actually got a different brand and he is eating it, which I was afraid he wasn't going to. Um, How's it, babe? It's really good. Good. Um, and sis is about good job. to lose it because it's her turn to eat in like 10 minutes too. But I'm gonna try and eat mine real quick before this chick needs to eat. I just called my newborn a chick. Rocky, do you like ice? <laughs> Rocky demands for ice in his water now. He's just like his mom. That's exactly mom. what I was gonna say. I cannot mom. drink. <laughs> he's also been calling me mom today. Mom. And he's been insane the second period. Like yeah. he's been, he's had so much I energy. Need. Yeah. Actually, yes, right. And as I just said, I don't have a ton of energy. I realized the other day that I'm a temperature snob with food, like especially drinks. I have to have my drink like ice cold or I don't want to drink it. And then I can't have my food like lukewarm. Like we've been making those tzatziki bowls like for lunch pretty often. And the tzatziki sauce you put on it is refrigerated. So it makes the meal cold and I have to heat it up every single time. I just like cannot do it. So it clicked in my head that I'm kind of a temperature snob. Food. And now Rocky might be the same. Yeah, you saw the bee outside with Kelsey. Mm -hmm. He's also into storytelling and he tells the same story many times. <laughs> Echo's little feet in this clip are so cutie. No. <laughs> okay, Bubby. You gotta chew your food before you take another bite, okay? This is how dinner always ends. Me sitting here feeding Echo and Nathaniel back there <laughs> finishing up with Rocky. These are just my two kids right here. <laughs> What the heck? For some reason, sis only wants to eat on one side. And so she's nursing for like four minutes and it's stressing me out. And I feel like I don't want to give her a bottle every time because I don't want her to like get used to that. But also like she's just really sad when I try and I can't try for as long having Rocky and stuff. And it's just kind of stressful, but she's been content. She's not crying or anything. Like she seems fine. We have an appointment for her in a week and a half no in like eight days I think and so we'll be able to check her weight and just like confirm that she's doing well but gosh nursing struggles are just so hard and like I haven't really had nearly as many with her but it's still super stressful we're gonna go get a treat we're gonna go use our hundred dollar cash and share one let's get out we can leave this city we are back home now. Nathaniel is putting Rocky down and I have Echo. She's kind of having a hard time right now. It's the whole witching hour, you guys know, but I think she's just really tired and ready to go down. She's been going to sleep between like 7 and 7.30 because she just gets so like irritable and ready for sleep. I wanted to quickly show you guys her bassinet that she's been sleeping in because I really like it. It's from Baby Delight. We have the bouncer and so we decided to try the bassinet because the bassinet we had before was crooked. It was like tilted and it was kind of stressing us out. This is what it looks like. I love how like just minimal and neutral it is with like the white and the tan. It fits like right up next to our bed and zips up, zips down, has mesh. Sorry, all the rocking because of Echo, but. but yeah, it's not sponsored or anything. If you guys want to check it out, I will leave the link to it, but it's been super nice. We didn't have something like this with Rocky. We used the Moses bassinet, and I always had to like lift up my head to like see him. And with this one, I can just like open my eyes and see Echo, which has just been super nice um, while checking on her throughout the night, so yeah. I will link it if you guys are interested, but that is where I'm going to end today's vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Sorry if it was kind of negative. I feel like I had a really rough like headspace at the beginning of this, but I just feel constantly overwhelmed with two kids, and I think that's pretty understandable. And I think I really just hated my hair in a bun. I should have at least just like put it in a ponytail, but whatever. It's all good. That's just me being vain, and it doesn't matter. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty with the wind blowing in your